Tammy, you've been a bad girl lately. So bad, I might even have to go to Kentucky, knock down your door, bend you over my knee, pull down your pants, and give you a spanking with my bare hands. So the new episode dropped and it's called End of an Era. So Amy and Misty pack up the Slayton house cause it's moving day. They have a heart to heart about God knows what. Seen it before, over it. Next, Chris calls Tammy to see if she wants to hitch a ride to the weigh-in. She says no. Oh fucking K. Tammy sounds like death on the phone, all raspy and sick. <laughs> it must be from the binge drinking. So everyone's concerned about her even more now. Tammy, what the heck? You're on oxygen, you're an alcoholic, you're a vapeaholic, you're a foodaholic, you're a sexaholic, you're a toxiholic. You know what that is? That's when you're addicted to toxicity. She's all of the holics. All right, so Chris arrives to his way in with semi-sexy Dr. Eric Smith. Brittany comes along with, she's just so supportive. I haven't seen such a supportive wife on television in about 20 years. They don't make them like they used to. Nice job, Chris. Chris tells the doctor about Tammy giving up and just wanting to enjoy live binge drinking. Eric decides that he might have to make a specialized intervention style house call to wake up Tammy Slayton. So all the siblings get together, minus Tammy, to read their ancestry DNA results. Their mom is dead set on thinking that they come from the Queen of England. Guys, if you guys were from the Queen of England, which you're not, y'all would probably be wealthy and in a cult. Misty says she doesn't believe it. She says that's all BS, but whatever. So they pivot to Amy ovulating, yay! Apparently Amy left out a home ovulation test kit for everyone to see. Amanda calls her out on it in front of everybody. Amy denies it, but Amanda throws Amy under the bus. She tells everybody she's trying for baby number two. Now Amy and Michael engage, go on an airplane to Georgia. It's a big moment for them because Amy's never been able to fit in an airplane seat. She said it was just like a sardine can. Fat girls don't fly for a reason, but they made it to Georgia. So Amy goes in for her yearly checkup with Dr. Proctor since the surgery. Dr. Proctor tells her she needs to lose more weight before she goes off trying to have another baby. He's clearly concerned about her health. Dr. Proctor asks Amy if she's been meeting the goals that she set. Amy says, no, but I've gained back a lot of weight. Amy gets weighed and she weighs a whopping 275. So she still needs to lose 125 pounds to be considered healthy. She won't lose the weight though. She's just gonna get pregnant and then get pregnant and then get pregnant again. That's what she was meant to do. But Amy lets Dr. Proctor know what's going on with Tammy. Dr. Proctor is concerned. Amanda goes to see Tammy and gives her a stern talking to. Tammy starts to get bitchy. Tammy says to just let her be. Amanda says something so real. She says, girl, ain't nobody expecting you to be anything but yourself. Now, Amanda does something very special. She gives Tammy an old quilt that used to belong to their grandmother. She was the only one who showed them love and she raised them. Tammy breaks down and cries. She said, I had a dream you gifted me this quilt. How sweet is that? Tammy says, I'm not giving up. I just want to be happy and in my own way. And that's one of the most realest things I've heard on the show. Amy's been having cravings and pregnancy symptoms, so she takes the test. Turns out she's positive, but we already knew that. Boring. All right, guys, any donations are greatly appreciated. It goes towards props, equipment, and data usage. Bye, YouTubies. Subscribe.